Oh, hi, fellas. Frankie Dade back here on YouTube again. Okay, folks, this is uh, another Builds of My Past. This is my old testers on a Tallery 172nd scale. AC119 boxcar. Uh, we dubbed these things in Vietnam as the Stinger. We used to call them the Stinger. They were actually, um, uh, they were actually, they were the first aircraft to carry the 7.62 millimeter mini guns that were used uh, as, as gunships. Uh, they had a lot of problems with the flying boxcar. Uh, due to being a, a twin boom fuselage aircraft, even back in the 1950s, um, they uh, these aircraft were, were, were they couldn't they didn't have very much of a bank of banking, uh, especially um, when aircraft would go to a right bank or a left bank, flying in the, in a uh, in a more or less like a in a circle. And uh, they usually had a lot of stalling problems with them. These aircraft eventually stalled out all the time, and, and uh, some even crashed. <coughs> they were very heavy airplanes. These things were actually rebuilt back in 1947. They were the uh, predecessor of the C-82 uh, flying truck. And uh, they, uh, Fairchild decided to take it back there and revamp it. I redesigned it to the C-119 flying boxcar. And they were actually were packet planes, more or less. The C-82 packet plane, more or less. What they were designed for at first. And they were designed just to carry... Uh, the packet ship actually had a removable fuselage section right there. And the middle center fuselage was removable. They left all the stores, tanks, or troops or like that. They left, the airplane took off. Picked up another uh, fuselage section and brought them back. And uh, they find out, uh, actually, that the Air Force at the time knew it wasn't very practical to do that kind of operation. So this aircraft went back into uh, Fairchild uh, fa uh, factory and uh, was re redone to, and reconfigured to the C-119 boxcar. Then they then in Vietnam, came out back in 64. They more or less used these as gunships, but they couldn't perform very good because of the stalling problems they have. As we zoom in right here, you get the 7.62 millimeters uh, or in the forward fuselage behind the cockpit, as you can see. As I twirl around a little bit, I got the clamshell doors open back there. I got one closed, one open. And under the fuselage, you can see those uh, 7.62 millimeters coming right out there on, on the uh, port side of the fuselage. I've had this kit for about 25 years, guys. No, I take it back. I had it since 1982. It's 33 years. And um, it's been in mint shape ever since. I just took down my cardboard box. I had one of my commentators on there wanted to know, Frank, how do you keep your model so pristine? I more or less, what I do, I finish a build like this. I put it in a cardboard box, put it away, and forget about it. And one of those years, like right now, I take it out of the box. This is the first time this airplane has been out of the box, guys, since 1982. It's the first time I've seen daylight before. Uh, the, the, the Vietnam colors on it was uh, medium tan with medium green. And dark green was actually the norm. This is used as a night gunship. The Stinger had a, a black undersides on it. And the, actually the C40, AC-47 Puff Mad Dragon or Spooky. Uh, they were the same thing. They had, they, they were actually, the results were a lot more better at night time than they were in the daytime. So I guess we learned something from the English. It's not better attack at night than it is in the day. And as you can see, it's very sparse there. It's very detailed uh, interior side there where the car goes at, guys. Um, I have a, I have this, uh, the uh, other military version of this aircraft instead of the Vietnam version. It comes with a, a truck and a tank that goes inside there. This is a far better kit than your 1956 Aurora kit that they had. This kit's highly detailed, and the beginner she had no problem tackling the kit. Uh, henceforth, that the landing gear is very, very delicate, so you got to watch out for the landing gear, guys. It's very delicate. It don't take much to bust that undercarriage. And uh, it took me about four months to build this airplane. It's all been airbrushed. And uh, from age, I mean, I use magic, uh, green magic, putting on it said use my bondo and uh 
So I got a lot of shrinkage here and there on the seams, as you can see in some parts of the fuselage, like the center wing joins on top of the uh, the fuselage itself. Uh, this gunship was completely modified. This C-119 boxcar was completely modified for this type of operation. As the, as I mentioned before earlier in the video, they were dubbed as the Stinger. And the Stinger did, well, did a good job. The only thing bad about the C-119 boxcar, fellas, is, is that is they, they flew in the pylon configuration and more or less had a stalling issue with the aircraft. These aircrafts were initially designed for troop deployment and carry cargo. And also to use those ambulance aircraft. These are exact these airplanes along with the C one twenty four Globemaster and the C fifty four Skymaster and the C forty sevens, they all participated in the, the Berlin Airlift back in nineteen forty nine. That was the heyday for the boxcar. They used it exclusively during the Korean War, too, as well. The C-119G boxcar, as you've seen right here, was actually stuck in for the United States Air Force Register as late as 1966. And they're no longer used. The Puts Magic Dragon filled the bill for them. They seem like me, the suitable aircraft for the, for the uh, use of 7.62 uh, millimeters they use as, as the gunships. And of course, we all know that the C-130 filled the bill after this AC-47. This is a wonderful kit. Thumbs up. There's ugly looking mud again. Boy, I tell you one thing. Don't bring it for beauty where he comes from. Don't mind that guy in the picture there, guys. He just told me what he's doing. Anyway, uh, this is a good kit. And I got more bills to pass coming up, guys. Keep you guys entertained. Keep you on your toes. And uh, something to fill the bill in between builds. Oh, you guys out there, we have a lot of group builds going down. And uh, so we all got doing our thing. So I figured I'd fill these group builds of the past. And as a filler, as, for, as to the builds we're doing. And, uh, of course, I have a, lot, a couple of commenters that want me to keep bringing them all the time. So I'll do that. And the propellers are all painted aluminum. Tips are yellow. And uh, the cockpit is highly detailed. This is covered with no figures at all, fellas. So, Pennsylvania, sorry, buddy. No pilots, no crew chiefs, no uh, cargo masters, no nothing on this thing. Just, just, a, just a kid itself. Okay, fellas, give you the thumbs up. It's time you sign off here. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. May God bless. And we'll catch y'all later on the next YouTube presentation. I should have my bolo video on tonight. And uh, tomorrow, stand by. For